Melatonin, also known as the body sleep hormone, is already naturally produced by your brain's pineal gland, which controls your internal sleep and body clock. It tells the brain when to sleep as darkness approaches and when to wake up when it gets light out. But many people struggle with sleep, have jet lag, are a shift worker that needs sleep on their days off, or simply on the night owl schedule and resort to taking melatonin supplements incorrectly. So in this video, I want to go over five very important tips and tricks that you need to make sure of so that you make sure you take melatonin to its maximum benefit. So stay tuned till the end. And Hi guys, you've seen Arsalan Media Pharmacist here on YouTube. This week's video is on melatonin. If you're new to the channel, I talk about health and wellness topics and try to bring as much value as I can to you guys, answer questions, and really build a strong community of people who just love healthy living. Smash the like button below now as there's a ton of useful information in here that I know you could benefit from. Also, while you're at it, hit that subscribe button too to stay up to date with new weekly videos. And without further ado, let's talk melatonin. So first things first, as a disclaimer, if your doctor has you on melatonin, please make sure to follow what is recommended for you and take it exactly as recommended or prescribed by your doctor. Also, if your doctor doesn't know you take melatonin, it's a good idea to let them know and also let them know of any other herbals, vitamins, and supplements that you're taking so they could check to see if there are any possible interactions with coexisting medications or conditions. So to begin, the first tip I have is knowing how melatonin works so you could take it at the right time. Melatonin simply lets your body know that it's nighttime so you could get to relaxing and falling asleep easier. Hence why they should, should never be actually classified sleeping pills because they will not increase your sleep drive or put you to sleep but rather promote sleep quality improvement which is an important piece of information many people think that they're buying sleeping pills when they aren't technically so to really take advantage of melatonin supplements that you buy you need to work with the melatonin that's naturally produced and make sure you aren't working against it. And to do that, you have to know that at the, t at the end of the day, the body sends out that, hey, it's getting dark signal, and that's usually about two hours before bedtime. So plan on taking your melatonin two to three hours before your bedtime to work with the natural melatonin inside the body. The second tip I have is taking more melatonin is not better. We tend to think that if a little helps, more is better, and it's not the case for melatonin where less is actually more. Unfortunately, most melatonin sold over the counter is available in dosages ranging from 3 to 10 milligrams, which is a lot more than your body needs. For example, dosages between 1 to 10 milligrams can raise melatonin concentrations to anywhere from 3 to 60 times the typical amount. So I recommend finding the lowest amount that you can and working your way up gradually. The third tip I have is knowing that light defeats melatonin. If you take melatonin correctly two to three hours before you want to fall asleep, but still are in front of bright light or blue light coming from your phone or TV, your body is getting mixed messages and taking melatonin won't help. You would need to turn off all electronic screens or at least use a blue light filter on your device and create a dark and cool environment, kind of like the Batcave. I made a video on sleep hygiene and how to fall asleep fast, which are all bonus tips that can help as well. So click the upper right hand corner button to watch that. The fourth tip I have is melatonin isn't always the answer, even if it does help you fall asleep and improve your sleep quality. And here's why. There could be many underlying reasons why you would have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. And melatonin can hide this problem temporarily. And the actual reason why you can't sleep never ends up getting addressed. For example, you may have a problem with sleep wake cycle related back to a circadian rhythm disorder. And melatonin supplementation can't really repair that as much as let's say professional light therapy can. And if there are deeper issues from problems with stress, anxiety, or depression that's causing you to not to fall asleep or stay asleep, these issues need to be discussed with the medical professional as it's important to address all underlying causes of sleep disturbance. So a good rule of thumb is if you aren't back to being able to sleep well on your own after using melatonin for two to three weeks, talk to your doctor. But if melatonin does seem to help, it's safe for most people to take nightly from one to two months with a follow-up with your doctor after. And lastly, melatonin doesn't mix well with daylight. If you take melatonin too close to morning, let's say you woke up at 4 a.m. and take melatonin to get back to sleep, you risk becoming drowsy and groggy the next day. Of course, there are ways to use melatonin during the day to adjust your sleep cycle, let's say if you have jet lag or if you work night shifts. But for those who are simply struggling to sleep well at night, keep melatonin away from daytime hours. One final note, melatonin is sold in the US as a dietary supplement and not as a medication which means that the products are not closely regulated by the FDA. That means bottles that are labeled natural, certified, and verified are not standardized or regulated. You run the risk of not getting the actual product written. So when purchasing melatonin, check to see if it carries the USP or the NSF logo on the label as the products at least have been tested for contaminants or mislabeling. Don't use it if you're pregnant or breastfeeding or have an autoimmune disorder, 
a seizure disorder or depression. Also talk to your doctor if you have diabetes or high blood pressure. Melatonin supplements may also raise blood sugar levels and increase blood pressure levels in people taking some hypertension medications, which is why communicating with your doctor is so important, even if it's a simple supplement that we take. I hope this video was useful to you guys and I hope that you do share this video with someone you know who can benefit from it. I also hope that you find adequate and safe relief in your restful sleep journey. Like the video now if you did enjoy it and subscribe to stay on board with all my other weekly health and wellness videos. Thanks for sticking tuned all the way till the end and as always, see you on the next one.